This is Mark Spear reporting on location in Los Alamos, New Mexico for RCR Wireless News. If you look behind me, you'll see some very large plumes of smoke. Now that is coming from the Los Conscious Fire, which is the largest in state history and is still raging across northern and western New Mexico. Crews are working around the clock to contain this blaze, and officials say the Los Conscious Fire has devoured more than 150,000 acres, but is in the process of containment. You know, the impact on the community is huge. We evacuated the community. It's the first day it burned over 63 homes in the Cochiti Mesa Dixon uh, Apple Ranch and the Cochiti uh, Pueblo. It burned some homes in that area. So it's been a devastating fire. Investigators believe the fire was started after an aspen tree fell on some power lines near the Los Conscious camping area, igniting dry brush and spreading through gusty winds. Chief Tucker granted RCR Wireless exclusive access to survey damage. More than 4,000 firefighters have been called in to battle the wildfire, which has shifted directions towards Native American lands. The Los Alamos National Laboratory, birthplace of the atomic bomb, was threatened at one point, but has since been contained. Pretty much this is the northwest side of the fire that you see on fire right now. Uh, the town is, is no longer under threat unless we get a significant wind shift. Chief Tucker said the next threat for Los Alamos is from flash floods. And the fire dropped into the top end of the bowl, and you can see just pretty much destroyed the entire hillside. So what's gonna happen, our first consistent essential rains are gonna come in here and drive all the soil and everything down into the town site. And underneath, we have an ice rink down there that we'll probably lose just because of the flooding. Rescuers are finally taking the upper hand in this ongoing battle because of proper communication between agencies and firefighters. One of those facilitating communication is Stephen Smith, who purchased a microwave backhaul system to provide a robust link for the nearby city of Santa Ana Pueblo. This is an 18 gigahertz Exalt uh, licensed frequency um, backhaul that we've got connecting uh, this building with the main government building for the Pueblo of Santa Ana uh, over across the river. My name is Stephen Smith. I'm an IT director for the Pueblo. Uh, I've been working with uh, Jack Gorman at Access Technologies for a couple of years, and uh, we came up with a plan and put the first leg of it into place a couple months ago. It provides them with uh, the IT connectivity, in other words, to get to the outside world, and also to communicate to the other government entities within the Pueblo over on the other side of the river. Uh, up until that time, the connect connectivity wasn't that good and they weren't uh, able to do the things they can do now. Smith told RCR how his wireless system became involved in fighting the Los Conscious fire. Two Mondays ago, uh, I got a call to uh, rush up to this building that I'm standing on now uh, to help the Forest Service deal with the forest fire that we had going on out at the um, Los Alamos area of New Mexico. Uh, I hadn't actually had a chance to do any real stress tests on this system, although everything looked fine. And so I was crossing my fingers when I uh, hooked him up to our network and uh, gave him access to our internet uh, connection. I've had lots of challenges uh, getting things going for the Forest Service, but this, this little beauty here, not a single, not a glitch, not a hiccup, uh, just like being wired. The Santa Fe Area Command is using the system to direct agencies on how to contain the blaze. Prioritizing resources is our main um, function and basically just making sure that um, when there's multiple teams working on the field that are used to having um, one fire that they're coordinating, making sure the different teams are communicating and coordinating. Wireless communication systems will continue to support those on the front line until the Los Conscious fire is fully contained. Mark Spear, RCR Wireless News.